Being a dentist is 50% awesome, 50% annoying, and 100% exhausting. I should know I am one. My name is Paul, Dr. Nacho, and you are on Talking Nachos, where we help dentists increase success, decrease stress, and most of all, reduce the number of times you feel like crying inside of day. We have found that is the number one KPI, key performance indicator, not EBITDA, not new patients, the number of times you feel like crying inside a day. And I have my amazing sponsors and resources here to help you cry less inside. So my first guest, I'd like to welcome Jamie, my friend, sponsor, been on the show many times, works for my office, with my office personally. So Jamie, welcome to Talking Nachos. Just spend 60 seconds orienting our audience to, as to what you do to help dentists every day. Well, thanks, Paul. You know, I love to be on Talking Nachos. Mm -hmm. So I'm the owner and chief strategist at Day One. We are a digital marketing agency helping dentists gain more of that ideal patients through creating a comprehensive digital marketing system that's tailored specifically for their practice and the stage of evolution they are in their growth. And I mean, you've shared with us before, dentists want more patients, right? But they want the right patients. Do you help them get them the right patients, whether that's veneers, whether that's implants, whether that's clear aligners, whether that's sleep apnea? Can you customize that like we do treatment plans for our patients? It is something that you can customize. Uh, a lot of that has to, a lot of it has to do with really what your goals are. Many practices when they start out with this, like, of course, I just want more patients. But if you really want higher, higher level patients, whether it's Invisalign or implants or more complex cases, absolutely, there's ways to go about doing that. Whether it's specific SEO strategies, ads, even in some cases, some sort of retargeting campaigns. Uh, absolutely, you can you can do that. Or if you are focused specifically on bringing in emergency cases, each one of those has has a different way to go about targeting them. I love that. And what I'll share and help you, Jamie, is everybody loves when they meet someone who knows they're an insider. So if you're walking around Philadelphia and someone says you go birds, you know they're an insider in Philadelphia. So when your when your dentist clients say I want more new patients, say oh class twos on number fifteen, do you want more <laughs> of those? And they'll say God no, not those new patients. So I wanted to ask you today. In my mind, there's only one AI, Jamie. Only one AI, and that's Alan <laughs> Iverson. That is Alan. I knew Iverson. you were going to say that. <laughs> but but I know that there are other AIs out there. There's a hot topic all over Earth. But tell us a little bit about AI and marketing and what that means. Sure. So AI, just like in many other industries, is, is finding its home. And it's a, it's ever evolving. It hasn't found its actual place to be. And I think even, even thinking that it's going to settle on one particular part of marketing is, is just not a wise wise way to think about it. It's, it's here. So what do we do with it? It's a great tool, but it's also affecting how you do search, how you how you evolve in your marketing program. So I'll give an example. Right now, the way that Google has included search generative experience, sometimes referred to as SGE, what it's happening now is when people are looking for answers that used to be displayed by showing results from dental websites, Google's now displaying that. So if I wanted to say, should I contact a dentist for this reason? Google is now pulling from multiple different sources and then creating that answer in that AI. And that's becoming the first result that people are seeing. And so a lot of what used to be a, a strategy of getting people to bring, or Google to bring up your website to answer specific questions, it in many ways is becoming less of a strategy or less relevant because yeah. Google's answering those questions for people. And so what this means is you really have to reevaluate how your website is set up because a lot of answers that used to come from websites, so Google would show those in the search results, It's that's not happening anymore, especially in areas where it's very uh, healthcare, where there's some, some pretty clear answers as to what yeah. to do. Uh, so it, when it comes to figuring out search engine optimization, website development, it's really time to take a look at that and see, all right, are we really in a place now where your website is best set up, your online presence is best set up, because those positions, Google is capturing a lot of those. It's it's not a goal anymore to try and always be in that top section. It used to be called rich text or snippets. That's a hard goal to really achieve now. So you basically recenter the mindset of your clients, your dental clients, and they might come, you know, we might have some gym theory. They might come thinking, I got to do more bicep curls to get in shape. And I got to do, you know, more of this to get patients. And you kind of say, hey, 
it's not all about this thing that you've heard, whether that's being on the first page of Google. Yeah. We now have some of these new, I've noticed on my own phone when I'm scrolling, Jamie, if you see something about Taylor Swift, I don't have to read the article. They give me the cliff notes. They say some people love Taylor Swift. They think that she should marry Travis Kelsey. And I say, wow, that's pretty nice. I don't have to read it. It's like, everything's like those yellow cliff notes things that we had when I mean, I'm dating myself. That's what I had. If mm -hmm. you didn't want to read the old man in the sea, you could get the cliff notes. So it sounds like it's a cliff notes version of that. Well, I love all the things you do to support the Dental Nacho community. We have so many dentists out there working with Day One. People can text Day One to 215-543-6454. Is there any other message you'd like to share with our audience before you wrap up, Jamie? It could be on nachos, could be on sports, could be on marketing. The floor is yours. Well, thanks. Uh, so the only thing that I'd like to share is that you, you touched on it briefly. And when you're thinking from marketing, the goal isn't necessarily to be first. The goal is to be seen often. And when you come up with a strategy or if you're talking to a marketing agency or even if you're doing it on your own, think about how can I show up in search results most often when it matters to me. Uh, this, this, is, this is just something I'd love for people to change. Being first is really not the goal. It's just to be seen as often as possible with the, the most qualified leads. Awesome. Well, great message. Thanks so much for everything you do, Jamie. People can text day one to 215-543. 6454. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you. So as you guys can see, just as the start of Talking Nachos, you're learning about updates in marketing, bring you the patience you need to succeed, the patience that you want to help. I am ready for my next guest, William, when he is ready to join us. William, thanks for being on Talking Nachos. Just thanks for share, having me. Oh, my pleasure. Share with our audience, you know, what you do in your day to day to help <laughs> Dennis cry less inside, you know, share with share that with us. So we, as F1 IT, we're a dental specialized IT provider, you know, crying less, you know, we always <laughs> hear that, you know, hey, I, I hate that this is happening. My computer is terrible. I can't print. Technology is just a problem. We see it another way as being, you know, empowering. We should be excited about like, hey, there's this new solution. It's, it's working a lot better. It's made us more efficient. Love and that's that. really what we are. I love that way. I want to share from my own you know, back in the olden days of like 2004, when I was a dentist, my team would have to make 49 confirmation phone calls, 49. Hey, William, hope to see you at Pennington Dental. Hey, William can come in. And now, you know, through the power of text message, which now seems like it's no big deal, but that was a really big deal at the time. But as a dental practice owner myself, it's overwhelming, right? You have all these different things. You're trying to make sure you don't get hacked. You're trying to make sure stuff runs. Tell us, you know, what do what should practice owners be paying attention to? You talked about you guys being an extension of their team. How should they look at their IT department as advisors, as team members? Tell us more about that. So yeah, we really do consider ourselves partners with the, the customers that we have, our dental practices that we work with. Um, and we, we really do that most essentially in being kind of a virtual CIO with them, right? We, we go there at the bare minimum yearly to evaluate everything that's going on, whether that's a security gap, we identify all these technologies that can help them. And in that sense, giving you information, metrics, and you know, helping you make business decisions. And the rest of it, we just take care of. You just give us the thumbs up. Hey, I think that'd be great to make this happen. Let's integrate this with that. And, and we'll be there to take it the rest of the way. Awesome. I mean, I, I know from the years of, you know, my, my dad, I practiced for many years, William, amazing mentor and dad sadly passed away a few years ago, but they asked him in the year 2000, was he ready for Y2K in his practice? Cause I don't know if you're old enough. He said, we are ready. They didn't have a computer in the office at that time. So this comes at dental practices quick, quickly. I want to ask you next, we help people buy practices. Are you able to help a new practice owner that either has outdated technology, no technology? You know, we talk about I own more than one practice, but how about that someone who just bought a practice? Can they go to you and your team and help them get set up for success? Absolutely. Again, the way that we present ourselves is really value first. So if there's nothing else that we do, even if you don't move forward with us as a customer, we are very happy to provide assistance, advice, point you in the right direction. When it comes to purchasing a practice, uh, oftentimes you have paper charts or you know technology that's just not really practical anymore. Yeah. I mean, so, I think what is really valuable and you guys can, maybe you do this already and I'm, I, but like when you go to look to evaluate a practice, evaluating technology is important because you might have to invest 40, 50, 60, 70, $80,000 into something to get it up to date. And I think the person purchasing that thing should know about that much like you want to know if you have to put a new roof on a house you're just about to buy. 
And those things, I think as dentists, we can, I can look at the equipment myself. I can look at the chairs. I can look at the x-ray units, but it's very hard for us to look at those computers the way you do. And I think that's great. I, one of the things I want to share, I'm talking with William, awesome sponsor of Dental Nazis, helps you with your technology. You can text technology to 215-543-6454 to connect with William. On a previous show, I said to people, if somebody wanted... This is a tip I have for everybody watching. If you take a sip of water and rinse it around in your mouth after you eat for 10 seconds, it will decrease your chance of getting cavities. When people go out to lunch and they can't brush or floss their teeth, if you sip water and you rinse it around, it decreases the acidic environment in your mouth and it washes your teeth, right? And someone said, that's a really good tip, right? Do you have something like for the everyday dental office, whether it's passwords, whether it's logins that you could add to our audience. Like, hey, watch out for this. If you're doing this, don't do this. When you walk in and you might want to pull out your IT hair and say, I can't believe they're doing this. Give us one of those. Honestly, there's so many. But if I were to choose one absolutely important thing is to make sure that your data is secure and backed up. There's there's many times that we've been approached you know, by you know, new, potentially new customers, they're like, oh, my data is corrupted. We got malware, blah, blah, blah. I mean, almost the instant answer to that is how are your backups looking? Yeah. So, you know, your backups got to be encrypted. And it's not only that, like, hey, I signed up for this program and it's backing up my software. You have to know that it's working. You got to do some kind of integrity test to whatever right. level it is and make sure that that data has integrity to actually, you know, bring you back online. And I, I love what you shared there. I, I've heard this joke. It's not mine, but they say the wrong time to be looking for a plunger is when you need a plunger, right? Absolutely. And I think the wrong time to make sure your backups are working is when you need your back. And I've heard, sadly, a lot of cry inside stories, probably outside stories of backup problems. So if you just give us that one tip, that's awesome. Well, I truly appreciate your support, William. Thanks for helping our community. Keep educating us. People can text technology to 215-543-6454 to connect with you. Is there anything else you'd like to add to our show? Any tips, nachos, anything like that before we wrap up? So again, very happy to provide advice for anyone in any stage of their practice. So, you know, you let us know. We also have some deals going on for Dental Nachos, awesome. specifically at nachos.f1itinc.com. Call with us and, you know, we'll, we'll set you up. Awesome. Well, I truly appreciate your support. We couldn't do it without you, William. Thanks so much for sharing with us today. Thanks. So as you see, you're learning so much from marketing to IT. I'm ready for my next amazing guest when he is ready to join us here on the show. Being a dental practice owner is like running a circus where the animals don't try to eat you, just slowly annoy you to death. So Mike, please introduce yourself to our audience and tell us what you do to help Dennis cry less inside. Paul, well, thanks so much for having me on, buddy. Appreciate it. First time, and I'm hoping to do more of these with you. Well, I'm the founder and CEO of Staff Driven Dental based here in New Jersey. I've been coaching and consulting dental practice for nearly 30 years. Uh, I spend every day of my life, along with my coaching team, uh, acting as a trusted advisor, a business coach, a life coach, a marriage counselor, a mediator, a personal trainer, psychologist, therapist, yeah. whatever it takes. We wear, many, we wear many hats because when it comes to the coaching on the business side of dentistry, it's a lot more than just here's the business ideas. It's about really intimately uh, getting to know the doctors we work with. And the things that are holding them back, you know, not just mentally as well. It's not just, not just operational. I want to share, I had the pleasure of going to your event in person. I know you have a number of opportunities for our Nacho audience to see you in person. You have a, a unique energy with your team. And what I absolutely loved about that event was just seeing your happy clients and customers cheering each other on. You know, we're going to use this gym culture analogy because, and I, I didn't know you were, you know, how to pass doing this. I believe the gym culture, Mike, is awesome. I was with my trainer today and he's a power lifter. And if he was at the gym and a woman was trying to bench press 50 pounds, he would run over and help her. And he'd say, you could do it. You could do it. There's very little judgment and there's a lot of support. And I think the gym culture is an awesome example. With that in mind, many personal trainers say, hey, you can't just lose weight by buying a treadmill. You have to actually get on the treadmill and turn it off, turn it on. So you get these people coming to you with so many problems, team problems, money problems, you know, could be personal problems. What are some good first steps? You know, someone's watching saying, I got to practice it's stressing me out. It's kind of doing okay. I want to connect with Staff Driven Dental. Give us some first steps here. Oh, well, look, there's two basic problems you have in practice. That's what I always say. There's under expansion and over expansion, right? Under expansion is obvious, like, right? Like if you're heavily overweight and you look in the mirror, I need to lose weight. You can see that it's prominent, right? 
is the people that are in shape that look like they're in shape. They don't really realize maybe, maybe they're not a health, they're unhealthy and they don't realize yeah. until one day they drop dead. You know, that's a dangerous thing. So the thing is we help on both areas here because you know, those are, those are, because you can have a lot of stress when you're growing and you're big and you got to manage growth as well too. That can be also be a problem, but you know, using the fitness analogy and I've been involved in health and fitness forever, by, by the way, fun fact about me, I started two of the first personal training gyms in New Jersey in the wow. late 80s dating myself this is when <laughs> that's awesome. personal training personal training was a big west coast fad before jim tan La before gtl jim tan laundry you were the original before jim one? tan laundry man this is, <laughs> i'm telling you i was one of the originals you know i had the bon jovi hair business that's in the great. front party in the back you, know, you, you wouldn't believe the stuff that i was wearing back in the day but the, the fact of the matter is california people were paying 30 dollars a session now 1989 you think about this back in the day 30 bucks to say you could buy a gym membership at jack of lanes any room where jack of lanes out yeah. there you know, for a year. So who the hell was going to pay 30 bucks a session for a trainer? All right. Well, guess who the number one clients we had were women. Women would come there because they didn't want to deal with the gym scene. They didn't want to deal with, they wanted to learn. They didn't know how to learn. No one's going to teach them. It was all a bunch of big muscle heads in the gym. So they were like, you know what? I want to learn. And they would come in with a magazine. I want to look like her in 12 weeks. Right. So basically the, here's my goal. Get me there in 12, in a short period of time, A, a to B, right. Best thing doctors, doctors can do. They don't, teach this in dental school. They didn't teach you were in dental school when they did this. You know, they didn't teach it 50 years ago. They don't teach it today. Unfortunately, the business part and people part of dentistry is a downfall of most dentists. I don't meet many bad clinicians, right? Yeah. Most of them are phenomenal at their art. There's no, they're not for lack of being fantastic, but I've seen amazing doctors at what they do just challenged and struggling every day when the, the, the young guy down the street's making a money hand over a fist and they can't figure out why, all right? And why the patients are going to them. It's just going back to school and learning this kind of stuff. And the best way to do this is bring someone into your life. It's okay to get help. Like this is the theme of the of this, yeah. the, the decade where people don't want to get help. It's a, it's a stigma to get help. Look, having a trainer is the best thing you can possibly do. You know, the, you, the results come quicker. You learn the what to do and the how to do it. You don't make mistakes. You don't just throw money out there. Let's see what's going to happen. You invest it intelligently and, you know, and you get where you want to be sooner. You know, every professional that you see out there that's doing well, and you're a big sports guy, right? Every yeah. professional out there has a coach, right? You know, if you, if you look at Tiger Woods' career, you want to look at a point when it started dropping off the map and he was crashing and burning, he fired his coach, right? And, this and, is and when, I want to interject, Mike, you're saying so many good things because one of the things you made me think of was I was at a big event and I asked people to raise their hand if they wanted more money or less stress and less stress won, okay? Less stress right. won because I believe that when you're in your 35 to 50 year old time frame, you want more time with your family, you want more time to do things. And that's the commodity that's lacking. When you're young, you got time. And I bet you when you're 55 plus, you also have more time. So do you work with these practice owners in this 35 to 55 year old range who come to you and say, Mike, I need more time. I'm burnt out by my practice. I might be doing well. What are some of the things that you and your team talk to them about? Yeah, stress, look, stress is the number one thing. You know, just like, you know, people think on the surface, you think that you go to a gym and train. It's all about the weight training. You know, 80% of it's diet. Okay. Yeah. It's not, it's not the training, right? So you can train all you want, but you don't change your diet and your lifestyle that way. It's not going to matter. Same thing with goes with training in the offices, right? I mean, the things that we teach them at a core, you have this office full of people, your team. I named the company staff driven for a reason because ultimately, and you know, this Paul, when you have a phenomenal team behind you, the sky's the limit, right? They got your back, not something in your back, right? Yeah. And they're really making sure that you achieve your goals every day. And they're they're buying into the mission and the and the and the purpose and the goals of this practice. And they're not just going to work and doing a job, right? Having team members like that has you win because you know what? They make or break you every day. Every dollar flows through them or, or not. Every dollar, every conversation they're having, everything they do or don't do every day. So it's worth investing in them and giving them training and giving them your valuable attention. We, I was writing some notes before listening to the other speakers speak. Take your team less for granted because we always take yeah. our team for granted and then they're gone and go, what happened? You know, and get, by the way, what's the, one of the number one challenges doctors are facing in this environment? Staff, okay? I, that's why I, I think I, 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 it, it's taken me years to realize this, but it's important. Treating your team just like your patients is important, right? Everyone goes, treat your patients, treat your patients. What about the people that make that happen? What about, and and that's a skill you definitely don't learn in dental school. Like, I mean, how to work with a team, you're by yourself. I don't know if you've ever been in dental school, but a dental student has to take the patient to pay, set up their own operatory, get everything done. So we don't learn anything about when we go into the real world, how to deal with your team. And that's why, you know, as we kind of wrap up, tell our audience about your training. It's for the team and the dentist. Is it online? Is it in person? If they're convinced saying, I need to reach out to Mike, I need to reach out to staff-driven dental, I'm going to text-driven to 215, 
five four three six four five four. How do they get started with you? Yeah, well, first of all, yeah, I definitely train. We're all we're all about the full team training. It's not training someone in a vacuum. It's all connected. It's a full team approach when we work with people. We have customized programs from different areas of concern and practices, but ultimately we want to bring the whole team into this mentor. You saw that at my live events, and that's only part of what I do. Most all the work we do is on site. I'm a, I'm a re, I'm gonna say right now I'm a regional company, although I can coach people on a national level virtually. Most of our clientele, New York, New Jersey, Eastern PA, you know, five boroughs of Manhattan, we are there physically, hands on right. site, regularly. In the, there's no substitute for being there. You never, you learning the culture of the practice, being in the practice there, hands on delivering this material and teaching these doc, these doctors and their teams. That's where the rubber hits the road, man. And that's why I have the most phenomenal, you know, results. I, I'm really proud of my results. You know, for over three, nearly 300 five star reviews on Google and Facebook, you don't see that in, in, in dental consulting. And most people will say, I hate, I hate my consulting. It was a waste of money. And I can't stand hearing that. I hear so many disaster cases that I have to undo. I agree there because then it poisons people's mindset towards it. And it's yeah. a two way street. One of my trainers said, as we were up, I mean, his, he said it was so good. He goes, You know what the hardest exercise to do of all time is table pushaways, right? And he said, And then you made that right because you said it's about diet. So you can make that about. It's not just about what you produce. It's how the money you spend in your practice, the way you treat your team and manage it. Well, Mike, so thanks so much for sharing with us. I know you have some events coming up. We're going to share that. People can text driven to 215-543-6454. Is there anything else you'd like to share with our audience? I'd just like to wrap up by saying a couple, a couple of things. June 12th, in next, next week in New Jersey, a week, less than a week away, uh, full of the other than an event you can see here through nachos. We have some openings for guests. Nacho awesome. members can come for free. If you're nice. in the area, you should. The whole thing is on creating the elite patient experience when you come in like, like using disney and like using uh rich carlton that kind of approach when you take care of your patients if anybody wants to contact me you know as a key resource and sponsor they can contact me directly my time to them is free initially 973-454-0741 that's my personal yes. number you want to awesome. reach me directly or go to stabdriven.com i'm there i'm there to help here to help you because i want to give back as much as i possibly can awesome Mike. well love your energy love what you're doing thanks so much for sharing with us you got it, buddy. As you guys can see, you learned so much in such a short amount of time in Talking Nachos. Thanks so much for joining us today. If you'd like to learn more about being a guest on Talking Nachos, please visit us at